What's poppin' nasty gang? It's your girl Jane Nasty on the mic, and today I'm back with another Brooke Heights video. So Arnie The Sims Plus has just released the official Brooke Heights version one. This is the public access version that you guys have all been waiting for. And with this drop, he included an installer for Windows players. Unfortunately, not for Mac players, and I'm not sure what's up if he is coming out with an installer for you guys. However, this is available for all Windows players. So I just wanted to take you through the download and see what the installer looked like for myself. So in this video, I'm going to be downloading and installing Brook Heights into my game via the installer. So if you're interested in seeing how that works, then definitely stay tuned. But before that, I'm going to ask that you show me some love downstairs by liking the video for me. Also, make sure to subscribe to become part of the Nasty Gang family because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell. Now let's get into the download. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm just trying to be so Brooke Heights is out of beta testing and it is finally the first official version and it's a public release so just head on over to Arnie's Patreon. Feel free to still subscribe to his Patreon and support him and his work because he did a great great job with this mod. So you're going to open up the file that he shares with you and we're going to press download. Make sure that you have a backup copy of all of your saves, tray files, mods, screenshots, all of that. If I were you, I would just make a backup copy for everything and store it away just in case something goes wrong. And then we're going to download. It might give you this pop-up message, but download anyway. It's a really large file, so it might take a few seconds to download, so just be patient. You're gonna find your downloads in your downloads folder. So what I like to do is I like to take it to a secondary folder. I have a folder called Sims 4 Files where I keep all my Sims 4 stuff. And in it, I have a Brook Heights folder. I no longer need any of the older files, so make sure to delete all of that because all previous versions are now incompatible. So make sure to get rid of all your old Brook Heights files because they're not necessary. Now I'm gonna drag my Brook Heights file over here and extract it. If anyone is actually interested in learning how to download mods and custom content into your game, then I do have a video on that on my channel. So we're gonna go into the Brook Heights folder, auto install, and we're gonna click on Brook Heights. You might get this pop-up message here and you're gonna click yes. You're gonna get this pop-up that says, Welcome to Brook Heights. You're gonna click Next. Make sure to take note the program file names in case you ever need to find your files for future reference. Now we're gonna click Next again and install. The process only takes a few seconds and we already have it installed in our game, so we're gonna click Finish. Now go ahead and launch your game. It should have installed by itself, so all you need to do now is launch it up and it's gonna pop up in your save files. As you can see, the background is Brook Heights. We have a different loading screen, how exciting. We're gonna go to load game and here it is you guys. Do you see? Brook Heights story mode right there for you guys to play. He made it so short, sweet, and simple with the installer and I'm so grateful for it. And I know there were a lot of people having trouble. So here you go guys, the Brook Heights installer. No more searching for where your program files are. No more getting the camera wrong. No more doing any of that stuff. And now you guys can enjoy Brook Heights too. Last thing I just wanna mention that if for any reason you wanna uninstall or repair Brook Heights, you just click on that same file. So I'm so excited to play version one. I'm gonna hop up in the game and see what's up. So that's gonna wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, then feel free to hit me up on my Instagram at Nasty on the mic or leave a comment down below and show some love downstairs by liking the video for me and become part of the nasty gang by hitting that subscribe button because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't tell <laughs> all right guys jay nasty out peace and love you want me to behave i